Hello everybody, this is Connie uh, from CutbyConnie.com again today. Um, I just want to clarify that yesterday the video that I made explaining how to um, use your SVGs for print and cut so that you don't have to buy the graphic sets as well. This particular little girl is from a set from Lettering Delights called Weather Girl. Um, and so the questions have been asked on the forum, you know, as to if you needed to purchase the graphic set along with the SVG set for print and cut, and you don't have to do that. So um, uh, Nelda, a lady on the forum, had brought to my attention that bringing in the SVG at the largest possible size makes for a better output. And, you know, I knew that just with Make the Cut in general, anytime you do a pixel trace, the larger the image, the better. Uh, why I didn't think about that for print and cut yesterday, I do not know while I was making the video. So the video is still right, it still works, it's just in the second part of the video talking about the Inkscape way, uh, that stays the same, but the first part where we do the pixel trace, this is just a way to do it better than the way I did it yesterday, uh, and so I just wanted to go over that with you and show you the differences. If you look on my screen, you can see the left um, little girl that I brought in my way, um, and then on the right bringing it in as a larger image with your PDF um, and how the image is a lot clearer um, the out the cut outlines are going to be a lot neater and so it's just an overall better way of doing it when you to get the pixel trace from your PDF so I'm going to go over that um, with you now so let me just uh, go ahead and just I'm going to unlock this and delete these two little girls and just get back to the regular screen and let's zoom out just a little bit and then I'm just going to go over and show you both, both of the ways. So yesterday, just to go over real quickly again, um, I went to my computer and went to the place where I have uh, my my PDF from the Lettering Delights uh, and so I'm going to go in here and find that folder and here you can see um, the SVGs and then here's the PDF. Another question that had been asked or somebody had asked is why when I bring this up am I seeing the little pictures, the little icons? Um, so that's because over here I'm in Windows 7, using Windows 7, and there's a drop down uh, little thing right here that tells you how you look at your stuff and if I would click on details then it would look like this. Um, and then if I click on extra large icons, they go really big. And then I just usually use large icons. But some of the lettering delights uh, shows them and some don't. Most of the time when I bring this up, I don't see the pictures for my um, for my um, SVGs. So if I go to another lettering delights like the little weather boy and bring that up, you can see that I can see the first two, but I don't see the rest. And I don't know why that is. But if you are going to be able to see them um, on your computer, that is what you would do is you, you do that little drop down and choose um, the large icons instead of uh, the list or details. And even the small icons, you won't see them. You'd, you'd have to at least go up um, to, to the large icons. So you know that. So now I'm just going to bring up that SVG. And see, there again, that little picture disappeared. I don't know why. It's weird in how you open up files on your folder. Um, but I'm going to open up the SVG. Again, this is the way I did it yesterday. So it automatically comes in, if you see right here, at 130%. And so when I did it yesterday, that is exactly um, the size that I snipped the little girl at to bring her in to make the cut. And I only have to say copy, and then I can get rid of that box, and then I'm going to... Um, just, I'm just going to go ahead and just minimize this so that I can use it again in a minute. Um, and then to do the pixel trace, come up here to the top to the pixel trace icon uh, and then say paste. And then what I did yesterday was I was telling you that you really only need to just get the outlines. Uh, and so I, I took it up to about, I think it was 180. So let me bring it up to 180. Another thing is that newer way um, gets rid of uh, uh, this step at the end, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so now I've got that outline, and then I have to make sure I say set image as texture and import. And another thing about uh, when I brought this in yesterday, you see how small it, it came in, only at 
like about a little over a one inch and two inches tall and so I also had to highlight it and then go up here to the top um, make sure the padlock is locked and then I clicked on it you can use the width or the height the box it doesn't matter which just make sure the padlocks locked and I went into 200 um, let's see 200 percent wrote that on my keyboard or typed that on my keyboard and then pushed enter and it brought it up the size that I wanted to use but I also had to change my texture so then I right clicked said change color or texture select texture uh, and then make sure the tile texture is not checked since I took it to 200 percent bigger then I just moved the slider up to 200 percent um, and then I said okay so then there's my image and of course um, as I told you yesterday you don't you don't get all of the colors so what you have to do is you have to come over here to the right and um, you have to click the layer properties and then you have to break the image down here at the bottom and all this will be you don't have to do all this in the second uh, you know way so that's why I wanted to show you this and how much easier the second way is and then you would come over here to the right and you would scroll all of the way to the bottom and you would choose that very last pixel trace um, and while it's chosen on the mat then you can just drag the image out get rid of the rest of the stuff and then there you have you know your image um, but as you can see um, and, it, and it looks pretty good um, and if I would go back to contrast you can see that uh, and, and that's bef before adding any kind of layer behind it or anything uh, too um, and you would you'd have to do that now before you'd print if you did want a little uh, like a black shadow outline around it if your print cut was a little off you'd have to do that now so that was the way that um, I did it yesterday compared to this new way so um, first of all let me bring up a lot, a lot of people would ask well how do you know um, that this uh, how do you know if a PDF is um, a vector PDF because a vector PDF is the only kind of PDF that's gonna you're gonna be able to make larger and not lose any definition to your um, graphic so with weather girl if I was to bring her up to 800 percent and let me scroll down to the side of the image you can see that everything is very very smooth uh, and it's not pixelated so that tells you when you go up larger that it's definitely a um, a, a vector you know PDF let me bring up another one that I have that I know is not a vector PDF this is a PDF that I had a sugar and spice I think it's a Provo craft uh, uh, PDF that I had um, but it's not a vector and so what I what you do just to normally just to find out is just to make it bigger so I'm just going to go up to 800% on this and as you can see that very first image in the corner it's not smooth and it's all pixelated around the edges so that tells you that it's definitely not a vector PDF so just so that you know that so now I've got my um, PDF back open and we're going to do that new way so that you get a better output on your print and cut so like I said the, when I did it yesterday I went ahead and just did my snip now but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the image bigger you can do that with a little plus sign on your um, the little up here at the top of the PDF or you can just click the down arrow on the percentage and just go ahead and take it uh, as big as you want to now when I uh, go ahead and take this up to like say 600 percent the reason I know that's not going to work because you can see the little girl um, I can't get her all in my screen to do the snip so that's what determines what size you use so I'm just going to do the minus one more time and then um, that 400% is the best possible uh, size that I can get to snip this little girl at a larger size so now I'm just going to uh, select my snipping tool and then go ahead and bring in uh, that little bit bounding box around her and snip her at that larger size and then I'm going to say copy you can save it to your computer but there's no need to just say, say copy and then I'm going to get rid of the PDF and then come in to make the cut still do the pixel trace say paste now the different thing on the pixel trace um, before I had just went up to 180 this time you want to go up higher because you want to get uh, the best possible um, you know outline and print cut that you can so um, 
I think Nelda had told me that she had went up to 233 um, and almost until she would got uh, everything but just the white but for for mine uh, it seemed to work best at um, uh, at 223 so now I'm at 206 and you can see that I still see the buttons and the headband and the, and the little face so I'm just going to keep going up to about 216 uh, now I can see the white down here, but I can still see the face. So I'm going to go up because the face is a is a color. So I'm going to go up, keep on going up to. Let me see. Let me go down to to 23 apply changes, uh, and actually see now the 223 is not quite enough. So let me go up a little bit more. Actually, I did this earlier and it worked perfectly at 223, but now it's not, so I'm going to have to go up a little bit more. Uh, I see one little dot. Okay, so now it's working for me at 234. So everything uh, is, is covered up, and you can still see just the little white right here, but that's white anyway, so that's okay. So that's where you want it to be. You just sort of work with it on your computer and see which, which works best. Then make sure that you go down here and you say set images texture uh, and then say import. And then as you can see, she's going to come in a lot bigger. Uh, she's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches tall um, by about maybe four inches wide. So you would still need to change her size to get her the way you want to. And at this point, this is when you always do your changes in size. You can't do it later. You have to do it now to get the print cut the size you want. Uh, so don't think that you can go back later and change because it, it won't work. Um, so just do that right now. So uh, before she had said that she had brought hers down to about uh, 33% to get it the right size and she was trying to get it close to the size that I had brought in before um, but when I had done it before earlier um, it had worked at 65% so that's what I'm going to put in uh, and let's just see what happens and I'm going to click enter and that is a, a pretty close to this girl so that's uh, going to work for me and then of course you still have to change your um, texture so I'm going to right click change color texture uh, select texture and then make sure tile texture is not checked and then I'm going to go to the left and bring this down to 65% uh, and like I said you can use your keyboard to get that to the right number if you need to and then I'm going to say OK and so now my image um, is, is, is basically done I don't have to do anything else uh, it's, it's ready for print and cut if I go back and change that to contrast there again uh, you can see that it's ready to go. Everything's really, really clear. If I if I make this a lot bigger, you can see, and you can see that it, this new way, uh, you really uh, get rid of a lot of steps. You don't have to do all those steps at the end. 